Hi, this is John Barton from JB Cases. Um, this is not a case video, this is a jumping video. There's an ongoing argument on the, uh, on the forums about jump cues, and even though jump cues have been with us now for almost 30 years, um, they've been legal in world play for like 25 years, you know, it's all settled, all the best players in the world uses jump cues. Um, all the top tournaments are sanctioned, everything. Even at that, there's still some guys around who, they can't help themselves every couple months. They got to go on this jump cue rant. Um, so I'm going to make a real quick video and address one of the issues. So one of the things they say about jump cues is that it damages the cloth and that that uh, it makes white spots that are you know unrepairable and so on and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on this table with um, with some cloth on it that's easy to see the spots. How, how the spots get there, why they get there, and, um, and how to take them off the table. So it's very clear. The jump cues don't harm the table at all. Um, and they are a valuable part of the game of pool. So, hold on. So from here on out, I'm going to just focus on the table right here. So you'll notice here, put my finger here, we got one little white spot right there. Um, I don't know if that was from a jump shot or what. At one point, this is just a regular micro mesh towel um, from tap, you know. So I'm not—I don't even have a brush here, so I got to go get a brush. But but this is basically just brushing the cloth with a regular micro mesh towel, not even really cleaning it, just brushing it off, and that spot is practically gone. So I mean, for all intents and purposes, just doing that brings the nap up and the cloth is gone. What makes a spot on the table is when a ball hits it. So anytime you hit down into the table, you're gonna have a spot. So you see what I've got right there? And now it's gone. Now the reason that we get a spot is because the ball compresses the fibers and the light reflects differently at that point off of that space. Um, it's very simple. So the cloth is pressed down doesn't hurt the cloth, it just presses the fibers down and then when you brush it out and you clean it off it comes back up. So now if we take a shot, a jump shot for example, let's take this, I'll put it closer so we can see the shot. Okay, so if we take this right here, for example, hopefully I can make this, so now you'll notice here we have two, two marks here. One is a spot from the ball and the other is a spot a little bit where the chalk came off. Watch what happens with both of these. As I rub this, just like if I took a brush and was brushing the table, both are gone and it's all good, all gone. See how easy that is? So it doesn't matter really All it takes is proper cleaning to clean these off. We'll do one more. Okay, now that time I made sure that I did not hit the table with the cue with the with the uh, with the tip of the cue, okay? Watch the spot. Okay, and this is just doing it with a regular microfiber towel here, and the spot is gone. See how easy that is? Now watch this. Okay, now I've deliberately stabbed the cue into the table three or four times. There was the original chalk piece. And you can see here, after a little rubbing with no no liquid or anything. Now normally you could use you could use some water and wipe these off, but I'm not gonna time lapse this for you and show you. But you could use a little bit of water, a damp cloth, and that'll just get everything out clearly. Take a look at that though. After even stabbing the cloth with the cue, the marks are completely gone. And that's that's stabbing it with the cue directly. They're almost completely gone right there. So this 
the act of jumping, the act of making a ball jump doesn't hurt the table any more than any, any hard shot otherwise. You know, if you, if you get up for a masse shot, you're pushing the ball into the table. If you do a hard break shot, you're pushing the ball into the tablecloth. Um, any kind of hard draw shot or anything like that, you're pushing the ball into the cloth and you're going to be compressing the cloth. That's why you have to clean it every day. So last time, jump, mark, gone. This has been John Barton from JB Cases. Thank you for your attention. Just remember, if you, want, if you don't want to build a case yourself, go to jbcases.com and try out our new designer. Let us build it for you. And if anyone tells you the jump cues are no good, just tell them they're full of it and that you're going to learn to jump and you're going to learn to kick and you're going to learn everything that makes you a good pool player. And don't listen to anybody that says otherwise. Thank you. Bye-bye.